The California Highway Patrol is the lead agency investigating why a limousine burst into flames, killing five passengers and injuring four more. It happened late last night on the San Mateo Bridge. ABC 7 News reporter Kira Clapper joins us live from the scene. Kira, what are the latest details? Well, the latest, Carolyn, I got off the phone with the CHP uh, officer, and he tells me that they are hopeful that the four surviving passengers and the limo driver can answer many unanswered questions for them, help them piece together how and why and where this fire started in the limo late last night. We do have photos to show you of the limo as it's being taken over by flames. Uh, someone driving by snapped the photos, and we were able to uh, get them. You can see the stretch white limo being taken over and Sky 7 HD shows the scene of the wreckage just after 10 last night. The limo was carrying nine women from Alameda and Foster uh, to Foster City rather when smoke started coming out of the back of the limo. As the driver pulled over the smoke quickly turned to flames. He did escape because he was getting out to see what was going on. Four of the passengers also got out quickly but the other five women were trapped inside and killed. I was trying to help, but you know, when when there's smoke and there's fire, people, some people, you know, they they it, they become overcome by it. I mean, it can really it can really take over. The victims and the survivors were in their 30s and early 40s. The four survivors were taken to Stanford Hospital and Valley Medical Center in San Jose to be treated for smoke inhalation and burns. The driver again was not injured. He is cooperating with the investigation. Uh, the CHP tells me they let him go home for the night so he could rest, but that they'll be questioning him over the next few days. Understandably, those four survivors were in a traumatic situation and weren't really able to answer a lot of questions as they were being taken to the hospital last night. But uh, the CHP looks to question them today and over the next few days as they piece together how this uh, deadly fire happened. Reporting live in San, uh, San Mateo, rather, Kira Clapper, ABC 7 News. Kira, thank you.